Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at the properties of multiplication and division as it applies to equations. Let's say we have an equation where a equals b. Notice that we can multiply both sides with the same number, c. Let's assume that c represents a number, so that a times c equals b times c. Notice we don't put any symbol in between the a and the c. It simply implies that those are multiplications. Notice that we also can start with a equals b and then divide both sides of the equation by the same number, in this case the number c, so that a over c must therefore equal b over c. Notice that if we multiply or divide both sides of the equation by the same amount, nothing changes. The left side is still equal to the right side. So here we have a couple simple examples. Let's say we have 0.5 times x equals 4. What if I multiply both sides by 2? So what I'm going to do here is take 0.5x and multiply it times 2. And of course, if I'm going to multiply the left side by 2, I must also multiply the right side by 2. So I have the exact same thing as I did over here. I took the left side and the right side and I multiplied both of them by 2. On the left side, 0.5 times 2 is 1x. On the right side, 4 times 2, which is 8. And of course, we have to realize that 1 times x is simply written as x, so we can write x is equal to 8. Here we have 3x equals 3. What we're going to do there is the same thing what we did over here. We're going to divide both sides by the same number. In this case, we're going to divide the left side and the right side by the number 3. So we have 3x is equal to 3, and when we divide both of them by the same number 3, the left side should still equal the right side because I did exactly the same thing to the left side as I did to the right side. Now, 3x divided by 3 will simply give me an x, and 3 divided by 3 will give me 1, and therefore x equals 1. So you can see that that's what we, that's what we mean by using the multiplication or division property. We either multiply both sides of the equation by the same thing, or we divide both sides of the equation by the same thing. Nothing changes as far as the equality. The left side will still equal the right side. These are simply techniques to help us solve for the unknown variable x in this case. And that's how it's done.